season 51 war one i am bringing kate bishop adam warlock and onslaught i'm taking both sections of path five and two shared fights um we are facing lvt which is a very very capable alliance one of the alliances that we really need to beat in order to have a shot at war champs so going extra hard today and i i looked at this and i was like dude adam's pi is really high um that's kind of weird i don't know why it's so high and then I'm like, oh, I have suicides on. Um, oopsies. But whatever. It is what it is. Don't stress out. It's not that important. As you can see, I'm hitting 8k through protection, which is pretty darn good. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, just want to make sure that I don't freak out once I once I realize that. So here we go. Here I was like, okay, I thought I was going to lose it. So here we go. Okay, just drop the special. And you can see that it hits pretty hard, even through the protection. He drops that into me. So I just tap him once. I do miss, but it's fine. Special 2 is unblockable, so at least one of them will connect and kill him. And he dies. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward. Then I have Nick Fury. I've taken this once or twice before. I'm not exactly sure of the strategy. I think it's just special 2 um, into the second life and, and then doing it again. I honestly wonder... Maybe I don't need to special one first, because Nick Fury's health pool is so low. I wonder if I should just parry heavy um, to knock down, of course, and then not do that. I shouldn't miss parries. Um, but I wonder if I should parry heavy to knock down, and then instead, um, what's it called? J just drop my special two. Just drop my special two and, and go to another special two. And I, I honestly think that probably is the right play. Um, not fully sure, but... If I had to guess, like, as you can see, I'm hitting pretty darn hard here. So here I do a heavy into a heavy chain, but he kindly resists both hits of the heavy, which is pretty absurd. Um, so thank you, Nick Fury, for that. I know it's a 25% chance, but still stupid. Actually, he had magnetism. It's definitely a lot less than that. Bruh, that's just dumb. Um, so thank you, Nick Fury, for being so kind. As you can see, probably wasted that special one. So uh, maybe just special two might be the way. Anyways, he goes down. Okay try to go for an intercept and uh yeah i get um intercepted instead so there's that all right don't want to freak out it's still fine do my partial decks and punish okay he's at 15 which means he will throw the special one dash in i thought he was blocking he was not blocking okay now i need to i need to calm down and make sure i'm not doing stupid stuff going to intercept with my relic Heavy to knock him down, and then drop my special two right there. Hopefully this can kill him. If not, hopefully it'll be very close, but he actually just dies. So, very, very messy, terrible fight. A um, couple big mistakes there, and uh, I'm lucky that Onslaught is as tanky as he is. Otherwise, I definitely would have started the season two and one, which would have been been brutal. Gonna put that fight out of my mind and just try to try to move forward. I had originally planned on doing those first three fights without the suicide masteries, but after doing the Adam fight, I realized that he was fine with suicides and I wanted suicides for Nick Fury. So, you know, uh, just just figured I'd leave him on. And uh, game plan for Iron Man Infinity War is the same. One concern I do have is that his medium is very, very short and also late, so it's really easy to get intercepted by it. So I want to be a little bit cautious and hesitate a little bit longer on my um, dashback intercepts. So here... Have to pod because I thought I was gonna lose my um, lose my form. Okay, here we go. And I don't really see a good means to get an intercept, so I'm just gonna try to. Here he blocks, so I have to tap him. Go for a backdraft. He doesn't go for it, so I just drop my special two into protection, and it actually puts me back up at another special two, which is pretty absurd. So the suicides were nice to mitigate the AI being weird. Um, he actually gets left at one percent. I get parried here because I hesitate, but I'm actually immune to, it's either parry stuns or all stuns when you're in Sovereign. I believe it's parry stuns. I think he reduces parry stun ability accuracy by 100%, so I uh, can't get parried, which is cool. Then I have Destroyer, and um, this is a fight that sometimes I have suicides on for, sometimes I don't. In all the important wars, I usually flip it on, and this is, as I said before, one of those wars. I'm gonna PS1, bait out a dash, parry for the intercept, special one, and all that fun stuff. Um, this isn't really played that well, I, I would say, but it, it isn't played poorly, so. Gonna back off. He is a little bit lungy, so you have to be a little bit careful at the beginning. Get that parry, perfect. Okay. 
There we go, get an intercept. He drops this, just wanna tap him. Okay, my uh, intercept itself is coming back on. Wanna not parry so I can just bait out a heavy that also, I should have punished that, like not pause. Like I used that to get space, which was a choice, um, but I should have just punished that to pause. But regardless, he's still taking pretty heavily. Gonna drop that, and yeah, I, this, this fight's not in danger, um, but definitely did not play that as well as I could have. Regardless, no real danger there. I have two more fights. Um, I have a Sasquatch on 38, and I'm actually using Onslaught. It sounds like kind of a weird matchup, but if you just remember how hard Onslaught hits, not so weird. Um, I I also do the late heavy thing. 100% I'm doing something wrong, but I also maybe wonder, it sometimes feels like my parry stuns are shorter than they should be. I don't know if I'm just like yapping, um, but it sometimes feels like my parry stuns are really, really short with Onslaught. So I don't, I don't know what that is. That's probably just me manifesting, but like that, I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, that one felt fine. So I, I, th I think it's just me being slow, um, which is not that big of a deal here. Going to heavy into special one. I don't really care that my special one's into protection. That's not really for damage. Okay. Perfect. Gonna parry. Heavy. I may just be slow with Onslaught, but I honestly do swear sometimes that his stuns are very short. Like, that one, I don't even know. So, maybe, maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. I think that's probably more likely. Um, going to get to my special two, looking for the Wrath of Tanarak. Gonna, gonna heavy counter into my special two. Hopefully, most of it cannot be in protection. Am I gonna wait? Oh, I'm waiting for Tanarak. That's what it was. So, I just dropped this. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have focused more on the uh, protection than the Wrath of Tanarak. But regardless, he's dead anyways. So, I guess no harm, no foul. And so that is my second to last fight. I have one more fight. It is a hazard shift stun immune bullseye. Because he's stun immune, it adds some complications, but by and large should be pretty straightforward. Um, the basic idea is that the incinerates will ramp me, so I don't have to throw a special one. And then um, because he's stun immune, I can't use my passive stun cheese on his evade. I have to um, bait out specials and heavy counter for pauses. So that's that's the game plan. I was told, quote, it's impossible to die here, so I did not PS1. Probably should have, um, but is what it is. They did say it's impossible to die, so if I die, uh, oopsies. So, gonna go in here. I get one Neuroshock every second with the Incinerates up. I'm trying to get the special out of him. Okay, now once the Evade timer is up, I will um, Heavy Counter. So here, get a Heavy out of him. There we go. Going to try to minimize my hits into Poison. Gonna get a couple of pauses, but that's pretty much it. Okay, here. Do I get a pause here? I probably should have. Do I? I do, sweet, okay. Another incinerate, which means that I can build back up my neuros, and here I just tap him over. A heavy there would have been really catastrophic. It would have evaded that. Um, okay, here we go. Gonna get another pause. There we go. Get a poison on me, which is fine. Again, just gonna back off and try to wait out this phase with the pause. Okay, time to bet out a heavy. Get that, gonna heavy chain into the special two. And this does very, very solid damage. Um, we do get one crit, back up to special one, gonna drop that and activate my daunted again, and he goes down, so. That is the war, um, couple messy fights, but uh, no deaths and an important war, which is always good. Um, that is the war. On a side note, this is probably going to be my last voiceover of wars. It's just a, it, it's a lot of work and I don't really, I'm not really in a place where I'm able to expend that much time doing it. Um, so this will probably be my last one. I'm not saying there won't be more in the future. I might change my mind. My schedule might open up. But um, for now, I'll keep posting more vids with captions. And if that's something that y'all don't like, I can stop posting more vids. But um, for now, no more voiceover. So this will be the last one for a while unless something changes. But regardless, thanks for watching. Peace out, and I will catch you later.